Hi guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel and today we're going to be doing a little bonus video to carry on from the Cyberman painting head that I did last time around. Today we're going to look at the Cyber Controller from Tomb of the Cybermen. I'm going to paint this guy up to give you an idea of how I would do it and maybe you can pick up some tips and tricks along the way. So just like last time, we've put the head onto a little drill piece. Uh, you could put it onto anything, it could be a pencil, a paintbrush, just something to keep it away from your hands so you can spray paint it. And of course, underneath these heads, you're going to find some uh, some little uh, like areas that need sanding basically from where the supports were on the printer. So give them a light sand, uh, even though you won't see them anyway once they're on the action figure. And uh, you're pretty much ready for an undercoat. Now remember, if you are spray painting, wear a mask, and presumably you're spray painting in a well-ventilated area. If you're not, then uh, you, you may want to invest in an extractor fan, which I have going at the moment, and um, just be careful. Now before you get started, I recommend warming your spray cans up. Either put it in a bowl of warm water, or if you've got a, a heater, like a fan heater, just place it in front of it for about five minutes and uh, it will just mean that the paint will go on better. And of course the item that you're painting, make sure that's at least room temperature and not too cold. But without further ado, we're going to get painting this guy, give it a little bit of a shake and then spray at about 12 inches, so 30 centimetres away. the paint in front of the heater or the hairdryer just to speed up the process. Now once the matte black has dried we're going to want to apply like a grey colour through the base coat basically because the controller had more of a grey finish rather than the silver. So let's spray the next coat. I've chosen to go for a Rover Tempest grey for this. Uh, I'm not sure if it's going to be the right colour, but we'll soon find out. So we're now indoors and I've given the paint a chance to dry, given it does look a lot darker in the video than it is in person, but I'm going to carry on and paint one of these up to see what it looks like when it's finished. If it looks a bit off, then I may paint the grey a little bit lighter and I'd recommend doing the same. So I'm going to start now by mixing a little bit of white with silver and I'm going to paint the I'm going to take it off this body I'm going to paint the eyes the inner part of the eyes don't need to be too precise because the um, the outer parts the raised parts are going to be painted last in black However, the controller has silver mesh on his helmet, like this. So once the black is painted on, it should look good. So we're now going to let that dry and then paint the black. So now that the silvery grey parts of the face have dried, I'm now going to paint the black around the eye rims and the mouth rim 
there. And this one on the right, I've actually dry brushed with slightly lighter grey, which I don't know if that's picking up well. Just to see how it turns out, my camera isn't really picking up the, the true colours here. So, um, it's going to be a bit, um, it's going to be up to you what you want to, uh, what sort of tone you want on your cyber controller. But anyway, I'm now going to quickly paint one of these eyes very carefully the key is to take your time When you are done, you will have something that looks like that. Now let's cut forward and see what it looks like with all of the rims painted black. And once all the black rims have been painted, this is what it will look like. Now I can't decide which grey I prefer. Obviously the one on the right is a little bit lighter, but I'm wondering if it's too light. I'm going to wait until I've painted the dome in its lovely kind of orangey colour and decide at the end. So if you're following this tutorial, let's paint the base coat of the dome. So for the orange, I'm just using this by model colour. It is orange brown, <laughs> very uh, basic uh, name, orange brown. And I'm just gonna take a little bit on my brush, just a very small amount like this. You see that? And I'm just going to work from the top and work down, I guess. I'm just going to spread it as far as I can. So it's a very, very thin coat. Now, the side controller has, I guess, a fade where it goes from the, the sort of the grey colour into the orange. So that's going to be quite tricky to achieve. The basic tip I could give you is to just do what I'm doing here, thin it, then dry brush it as the paint sort of wears thin, like so, so you get this kind of effect, and then slowly build up the layers until you're happy with it. And once you've painted all of the domes orange, they should look something like this, and that leaves just one more thing to do, and that's to paint some really fine veins onto the dome using a super fine brush and a little bit of like light grey I guess and they'll look something like that. Now if you have found this video useful please do leave a comment and of course subscribe if you want to. I'd love to know how you get on with your painting and of course if you don't know already uh, I do sell a lot of my headcasts on a Facebook group called Doctor Who Character Options Figures. It's a group, and uh, yeah, that's where you'll find me. Otherwise, I'm on Instagram under NDW Design. After that, yeah, just best of luck with your project, and I hope you found this useful. But until next time, take care, guys, and I'll see you then.